Not a lot. We're sort of looking. Okay, to uh, everyone listening, or, well... The, well, the, the people who are listening. The few the that few. listen, here's the deal. <laughs> Speed Society is going to be hosting all of these podcasts. You're going to be seeing a ton from these guys. I, like, they're... Yeah. How big are they, Sean? Uh, it's the biggest automotive website in the world, and, I mean, they got a lot of cool shit. Yeah, we're stoked to be working with guys like that, for sure. Anytime we can align ourselves with other huge automotive people, this is perfect. So Also... Stop listening now and go and like it and comment on it. And the sooner you do that, hopefully the more podcast episodes you'll hear. Yeah, go ahead. Yeah, the Crow 405, Murder Nova, Midwest Streetcars. Like it. Comment on us. Tell us who you are. Tell us why you listen to it. Keep this going, please. There are people that are, don't want this to keep going. Yeah, there's going. people right now trying to make trying to put an end to this. They they so, don't want us on the air. And we got guys like Speed Society that want to help us keep it going. So Welcoming us. Let's do it. Rock and roll. Help everybody out. And while you're there, check it out. Their website's awesome. Welcome to the podcast. <laughs> <laughs> it's Tuesday. It is Tuesday, kind of. So it's something like Tuesday, as usual. We're back. We keep we're, being back. We are back. I, we keep being back. And it's like a, we never quit. We're like that show on that channel. Yes. It just comes back every once in a while. Yeah, and it's never enough. Never. Never. So you just sit and wait on it to come back. And I then know. it comes back and you're like, it's back. Yep. Every Monday, that show is on. Yeah. And every Tuesday, we're in here putting in work. Just working. Yeah. Work, work, work. So uh, the internet feels like I made a bad decision by letting you race. In the finale against the out of towners, I've seen I've seen a little bit about that. <laughs> you lost. I did lose twice, two times, two times, and that usually that doesn't happen, man. I mean, before this deal happened, I could count like on a couple of fingers how many out of town races I've lost. I don't know. The internet counts. They do. The they keep they keep math. score on that. They deal. keep that score, and they're mad. They are mad. They think that I should have brought somebody else. I think maybe you, that would have been a solid idea. But, you know, we won. We did win. If I'd have brought somebody else, even if they'd have won their race, then the guy that you raced might have beat some of our other guys. That's right. And then we wouldn't have won those That's races. Right. I took out two fast cars. Yeah. I you, took the loss for the team yeah, for the, you, with the two you fast stepped cars. stepped in and took one for the team. I did. Because you're I a did. team player. I am. I am. You there know. is no I in team. Nope. <laughs> but there is a you nope. in and, cunt. And you, <laughs> don't be jealous little cunts. <laughs> so don't you be some jealous little cunts. Hey, but you know what? I still got paid when the deal was over. Yeah, you lost did. two <laughs> fucking races and still got some money. Yeah, that was a big pot. Yes, there's a lot of pot. There's a lot of pot there. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, we did have some issues with the car. You know, it wasn't it wasn't running like it should. You don't go from the passes that I've made this whole season to the shit that I showed in them two days without something being fucked off. So when we got the car back to the shop, we found what was fucked off. What was it? The rear end was broke. It had ripped the four link brackets. Like the second pass was really bad. I mean, the whole front end of the car came up and it was, uh, it was pretty brutal to drive. It Almost looked, crashed. It looked pretty scary. Almost crashed it. I thought, this is it. This is where I, I crash. And I wouldn't, I, I tell you, man, I wouldn't have been upset if I would have crashed it. I was hoping you'd crash it. I know. I was tired hoping, of working on that I'm just fucking tired, thing. I'm tired of dealing with it. That is the third rear end that we put in the car in what the past year something like that so i don't know what happened but it had ripped the four link brackets off the housing so i mean if if i probably would have made one more pass it probably would have came apart and then we could have had the glory of crashing it <laughs> <laughs> but instead you rebuilt it again but instead i did i put a new rear end in it and after that you won some races uh i did win some went races, back to after races. That. went back to winning races and yep. the car went straight and there you go not even real sure if it shook. You win some, you lose some. They say that's what I've heard. Inch or a mile. I'm I'm more yeah. used to winning races, so yeah, you win you win more than you lose. I do, I do, and it just sucks that I happen to lose to to out of towners. But you know what? I, I mean, Petey Small Block's a pretty big name, and he's made a big name for himself on the East Coast. He's fast. I hate to lose to him. I hate to lose to anybody, but. I feel like there's really you can't really hang your head even though I do because I feel like I am one of the fastest guys in the country but 
Petey's pretty fucking fast, man. You know, well, that's, so it's that's it's, the it's, thing. it's it's tough to hang your head if you lose to a guy like Petey. Yeah, you know, the car that Petey brought out is what's considered today a street race car. <laughs> the car that you brought out is what's considered ten years ago a street race car. You yeah, know that's I mean? considered the car that you put up. Yeah, so it's it's hard to be pissed off. Plus, you step up to the plate and race the fastest guys there that, that well, that's everywhere what, you go. That's what I wanted to do. Even if you don't have. I do that every time unless you're there. Yeah. And, and, then, and then you step up and go, look, I want to race the fastest guy for the most amount of money. And then I go, fuck. Okay, who's the second fastest guy? So Yeah, it's it's part of racing. You know, you, you don't really have uh, you don't really have the same type of car as what they do nowadays. But, I don't. But I you're don't. building one. Yes. And, you know, I mean – my team, you know, carried me on their backs through that deal. Well, so I, I've I've carried the team before in my in my the own team. defense. Yeah. I have carried our team Memphis. before. I did. You just did, and you won and, the you race know, for us. But it sucks being the guy, and then you get to listen to somebody like Daddy Dave mouth off and go, "God damn, Sean, <laughs> f- f- fucking two races, What's Sean, wrong with that boy." Hey, and then after that, I think he realized the camera was in his face, and he goes, "Man, that's not like him." <laughs> and I thought, I thought, Dave, just say what you want to say. He wanted to say. I win both my races. I don't Sean think so, man. Both. Dave was Dave was team team four hundred five that night. If he you was. watch him, he was team four hundred five the whole time. And goddamn, dude, everybody's car but mine was fucking rolling, Rod, just dude. riding. Monza's car, Doc, Doc's Doc, car, Doc's was car riding. Yeah, I don't. Not, I'm not real sure what happened at the at the end of the race with all the sparks and shit. But, <laughs> but dude, his fucking car was rolling that night. Yeah, it was. And I knew it was getting it. I mean, he had asked me. He was like, "So what do you think?" You know, because dude, I don't whoop up on doc all year so he comes up to me before he races pd and he's like man what do i need to do i go don't fucking touch it i said i'm telling you right now that pass that i made against pd was one of the worst i mean you could see in in some of the angles the camera starts shaking so oh, bad yeah. that they had to cut to a different shot because you can't see anything because my car was shaking so bad yeah so and, and dude i was still running him down <laughs> so I told him, I was like, don't touch it. Leave it alone. I said, Doc, there's no way that he can outrun you. And then Doc put, what, two or three on him, you know? So yeah, Doc's was, car was definitely hauling ass. His car was it's riding. It's fast, you know? And it's taken them all season to uh, to get those cars lined out. And, and I feel like they're starting to get a handle on them. So now's now's the time for me to bring in a new car. It's it's time. It is. And you have a new car. I do have a new car. What's up with it's, that? It's it's not done yet. It's at uh, Quillen Motorsports, getting uh, some finishing touches. You know, what I mean, he's the, he's my wiring guy. At, well, slash 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 fact. slash yeah. slash well, slash. Travis does it all. Travis Travis pretty much does everything. And uh, with us filming and with me trying to keep this other pile uh, still running because that's my money maker right now. You know, I have to I have to count on. Uh, keeping electricity on with winning races and stuff. So it's, it's easier for Travis to do what he does with it. And so I'm anxious to go pick it up, but he's talking like it's going to be done at the end of this month. And then it's your turn to put your hands on it for a while. Yeah. Then I get to tune it. Yep. Finally tune something else. I've been tuning that same murder Nova for fucking years. Yes. Wearing me out. I know. Uh, but you know that episode was shot earlier this year in the summertime, and then that you don't realize it, but like Memphis was shot after. Yes, and so your car was back, and it was hauling ass and it was well, doing its thing, and you you beat Doc. And I, you know, I'm pretty you, sure that whenever we went into that deal, I was number one. Yeah, probably. I think I, I think I was actually number one whenever we raced the the out of town deal, right? No, I was number one. You were for yeah, sure. I'm pretty sure because I didn't race in it. That's when that that was a lot. I didn't race. I haven't raced since then. That was right before her, right after Armageddon. I haven't raced since then. Okay, so then I was three or four or whatever, whatever I am now. <laughs> but yeah, you know they do the episodes. They don't always put them in order the way that they go. But we have raced since my rear right. end was broke, and the car's doing a lot better. Yes. So. And you you put everybody on your back in Memphis. You won that race for us. Well, it's it's tough listening to everybody. Oh, Sean loses fucking both his races, you know, and I'm going, shit, you know. And I didn't have no excuses. I didn't fucking go tell everybody my rear end was broke. And, you know, it's part of it. You lose some. Yep. You know? You do. Well, I guess the internet is 
not only is the internet talking shit about you losing two races, but they're also talking shit about, well, mainly a few certain select group of people is talking shit about uh, us not inviting the one group of street racers that are down yeah. south there or whatever. Yeah, I heard talking. it was uh, Bobby Ducote is the one Bobby talking all the Bukaki. shit. Yeah, Buk- Bukaki. <laughs> yeah, he gets mad when you don't pronounce his name right, too. I don't, I don't know. So. I don't know. They're all pissed off about it. I don't care. Whatever. It is what it is. The bottom line is that we've raced those guys numerous times, and it's never been that big a deal. No. Like Kai was. You know, I couldn't beat Kai. I raced him three times. Dave beat him, but I couldn't beat him. But other than Kai, I mean, we, we've both beat John Doe. You know what I mean? They didn't really. Well, none of their other guys have beat us. And none of their other guys really and this street was, raced. Well, this was a, a – a group race. This was a, a right. collectively fast group. They're not a they're not a fast group. They and have even one they fast now, guy. Even if they are now, they weren't then. And I no. don't know what they're doing now. I have no idea what they're. No, are. they no I, prep. I have no idea. Like I haven't, I haven't seen, seen no videos of them racing on the street. All I know is that this deal came about right after Limpy's Cash Days. Okay, yes. we yes. went to Limpy's Cash Days in Texas, a real Cash Days on. Real I didn't street, see none of those guys. None there. of those guys were there. No. So it's hard when. You know, you don't really see them street racing or doing anything out there. Other, you know, so it's hard to get amped up on wanting to race that group when yep. there's groups like Detroit that that gave us a run for our money and have fast shit and you know and like New York and California and a couple know. of their guys won when we raced them. You and know, not just that, but this is also a television show. You know what I mean? And we don't get to make all the decisions on everything, and so a lot of times decisions are made you know we've raced those guys over and over again and maybe the ratings weren't that great yep. and maybe when we raced detroit when we raced california like their ratings we raced, weren't you know, that great maybe maybe the ratings were better maybe you know maybe there's other things involved so you know they want to get pissed off at me or whatever i don't care but uh i don't have a car running right now to race any of them anyway but you know if they get out there and they street race and kick ass a whole bunch on the street and real streets and shit like that and go to cash days and all that other stuff, then, hey, you know, maybe that'll change. But I haven't seen any of their guys street race in a long time. No. Nope. And don't get me wrong. They do have some fast cars. You know, that one dude, what's his name? He's kicking ass at all the no preps. But that is a no prep. That's right. not – we didn't hold a no prep. Right. You know? Now, if we held a no prep, then, yeah, come on, guys. This is what you guys do. Right. Okay, we held a street race. It's not so, what they do. I'm not even worried about. It. I don't even comment on that. Shit. I don't even get on there. Nope. I, just, I don't even look at it. I just, I just have people thing. tell me what they say on there. Cause, I don't have the FOMO yeah. like everybody else. Me you know, either. That fear of missing out, where you have to be on the internet all the time trying to figure out what's going on. Like the only time that anybody that I even know what shit's going on is when somebody tells me because I don't fucking you know I don't even get on there anymore. Well, because cause we got other shit going on. Well, because I'm the one putting the shit on. Yeah, <laughs> I'm the one out there doing the shit that they fucking follow. Yep. You know what I mean? So if I'm the one doing the shit they follow, I don't have the fear of missing out because I'm the one doing it. Yep. You know, so let them talk about it. We're going to keep doing it. But you know what? We're not missing out on nothing. No, because we're doing it. Just because we're the ones doing it. <laughs> right. They're the ones missing out. Talking about it. Yes. Yeah, exactly. So whatever. I don't care. I don't either. Um, so I've been... <laughs> I've been watching a movie a lot lately. <laughs> <laughs> we talked about it a little bit in the shop yesterday. Yes. Um, there's a movie that was made in 2001, I think. <laughs> and Somewhere around there. It's about street racing, and it's called Fast and Furious. Everybody out there has seen it. Everybody's seen it. Everybody's heard of it. But I haven't seen it in a long freaking time. Yeah. Okay, so it comes on TV the other day. And I'm, I'm, I don't feel good. I'm laying in fucking bed. I'm fucking held up. I don't want to do anything. It's cold outside. I get depressed when it's fucking cold. I can't stand this weather. I need sun. It I'm is like, real cold, I'm to like be honest. I'm like solar powered. Yes. You know what I mean? If I yes. don't get some sun, I just, dude, I'm... I just, just want to go to a corner and ball just, up. I'm like just down. Gate. Yeah. Yeah, I'm like our fucking gate on the side of our piece of shit shop. It's solar powered. If there's no Which, fucking sun, it just don't want to fucking work. And I'm exactly the same. And it just pisses everybody off. And that's me right now. I'm just fucking a big ball of asshole because yeah. of this weather. I yeah. hate it. Gray is the worst fucking color on earth. Yeah. I don't give a fuck if it's a sweater, if it's a car, or if it's a fucking sky. I don't yes. want it gray. It's fucking gross. So... Anyway, so 
I've been, I was laying there, and the movie, this movie Fast and Furious comes on, and I started laughing to myself. I'm like, oh, this movie's so fucking stupid. Yeah. I'm like, it's so fake and stupid, you know? And I sit there, and I'm, I'm watching, and the very first... <laughs> I will be honest though. I've anytime I see it, anytime I see it on TV, I watch it. I've watched this fucking movie before, and I was like, "God, it's so stupid and fake." I feel like I'm like one of the fucking, you know, uh, one of the actual places to get information on real street racing from. Yes. And so, watching this movie, I just feel like it's just stupid and fake. And I'm watching it in the very first fucking scene, the the race scene, right? He he pulls in, and it's an, in an industrial park. <laughs> <laughs> there's Nailed these, it. There's all these cars parked everywhere, and they got security set out mm-hmm. with walkie-talkies to tell them that the cops are coming. And they're all just sitting around waiting on something to happen. Nobody's racing. Nobody's doing anything. They're just standing next. No, they're to their standing cars. around their cars talking about. Yeah, they're them. hard parked. Yeah, you know. Yeah, like we did. <laughs> Shut up. That's what I'm getting at here. <laughs> and I'm watching. I'm going, holy fuck, man. That this is so familiar. This is like exactly what it's like at a real street race. And then all of a sudden, here comes like these eight or ten cars pulling in there and they're the fucking they're, they're, the, they're the leaders <laughs> they're, they're the ones that run the shit they're the fucking ones that that's know. you showing up late because <laughs> <laughs> hey, look nobody's gonna do nothing until toretta gets there <laughs> so i'm watching i'm going holy fuck that's us we're pulling in and then they get there he gets out of the car a bunch of skanks walk up trying to talk to him you know what i mean yep and i'm like man like i've seen this before yep, yep. And i don't remember like i don't remember the movie being I don't remember the movie being. We just lost some yep, listeners. That sounded like uh, like <laughs> at least five of them. That was five listeners at once. I bet we don't have off. many left. Just <laughs> saying three. Yeah. Um. So I'm fucking watching this movie, and it's like, dude, I had no idea this was a biography. You know, yes. I, mean, I didn't know this was like based on true story. And so then, dude jumps out. Him and all his buddies got badass cars. He walks up. He sees all the cars. Sees all the people there, and he goes, "All right." Here's the way it is. Yeah, but first off, he sees one car that he's never seen there before. Yeah. And then they got to go over and look at right. it. Right. Just oh, yeah, like yeah, what yeah, we yeah. would Just do. Just like what we would do. Yeah, we go, whoa, 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 whoa. Oh, who the fuck who is the this fuck guy? is this? Yeah. And then we go check out his car. Exactly. Yeah. It's a new guy. It's a new guy. And that's Brian Spillner. Yeah. You know? Typical white boy name. Typical white boy name. Because <laughs> <laughs> Hector's going legit. Hector's like, don't do it, Jesse. <laughs> Chief's going legit. <laughs> so, dude. They walk, they're talking to this dude and they're like picking out all the shit on his car and they're naming it off. And I'm like, dude, this is exactly like we just did. I just watched the fucking finale where we walk over. There's a fucking pro mod. Yep. That's not a bad way to spend 50 grand. You know what <laughs> yeah, I mean? Like yeah, we're yeah. talking about what blower. This motherfucker's got, yeah. got a blower. He's got three fucking foggers. You know what yep. I mean? I'm like, it's yep. exactly the same shit that we do. Yes. You know? And then I'm looking over and I'm like, what size tire is that? And then fucking Dave leans down telling me, you know, it's just like the fucking movie. And, and then all of a sudden, the head, the head motherfucker is like, all right, here's the deal. $2,000 buy-in, winner takes all on the street right now. And I'm yes. like, oh, my God. I fucking said that. Yes. Like, not only is Fast and the Furious, was it way above its time. <laughs> it's 15 fucking years ahead of its time. Yeah. And I used to think it was so fake but and we were But we were doing it back then, though. Yeah, yeah. But no. I just used to think it was so fake and stupid. You know what I mean? And then the cars line up, right? He reaches well, behind Well, first him. off, you got the new guy who is obviously Doc standing over there who wants yes, the respect. Brian Spillner, Doc. He yes. wants the respect. So that's what he says. He says Because they're have... like, look, we don't know you. You're not in this race. Well, no. They said, give us the two grand. And he well, said, no, no, no. He puts he, up yeah. the pink He slip. said, I don't have two grand. Yeah. You know, like, Doc, you don't want to ever bet no money. Yeah, yeah. He, he said, but he's, but he's like, got a car. Yeah, and he said, I'm going to bet my car. He goes, because I just want the respect. And I'm like, yes. oh, God, that's Doc. Because to some people, it's more important. And that's what Doc and Doc said that <laughs> shit before. Doc has, said Doc has that. literally said and that And he to says me. awkward shit, too, yeah, like Brian. Just like Brian Spillner does. And, and so the race goes on. They pull up to the starting line, right? The dude's yelling at everybody to get back. I'm like, oh, my God. Like, it's a, this is fucking real. Yeah, the flagger's then yelling the, at the everybody. The security guy is, says, okay, guys, we're good to go. The cops are busy. Let's yep. hit it. Then they flag the fucking, before, right before they flag the race, though, like, there's everybody standing around the cars. They're in a big group. And he's in the car, and he's like, I'm going to win. <laughs> I'm yeah. going to win. No, everybody's doing their own little deal. Everybody's deals. doing their own things, just like in real fucking life. Yes. If you look in our cars before we race, we do that. Yeah. We each have our own routine. I do. He reaches back and he turns the nitrous bottles on. I've seen Doc do that exact fucking thing before. Yep. And then all of a sudden, then like blue flames are coming out of the exhaust. And dude, 
I just watched the fucking finale, okay? Everybody's standing around. The cars are on the starting line, and right before the flagger pulls him up, Monza's car starts shooting blue flames yep, out of it. Yep. The fucking Fast and the Furious is a goddamn true story. Yes. yes. It's, it's blew, it blew my mind. Yep. I'm, like, I'm watching this, I'm going, oh my God, this is the realest shit I've ever and seen. And then you got Toretto over there who, who opens the little compartment under his seat and yeah, turns on all his sneaky peeps. Yeah, because he Pete. don't run nights. Because no, no, he tells you. He's he, too good for he, Yeah, yeah. <laughs> he's, he's all motor. <laughs> he's all he's motor. All motor. Yeah. But he's got four sneaky <laughs> peeps underneath that seat and he turns them all on. Yeah. Dude, all this shit is, has really happened in an industrial park with me be, like standing there. And so, dude, it's just freaking me out how real the movie is. Well, then they show the race, okay? The dude flags it off. All the guys take off. They're ripping down through there. They got nitrous buttons on their steering wheels, right? Homeboy hits the first nitrous kit. He's way behind, you know? And this is Doc, 100% Doc. I just watched this happen, okay? And then about halfway through the race... <laughs> He sprays so much nitrous that the fucking thing starts coming apart, mm-hmm. right? And his computer's yelling at him. It's, yeah. Well, just like Doc, there's sparks coming out from underneath the car. I just watched Doc's car <laughs> shoot sparks out of it on the fucking finale. There's sparks coming out from underneath this guy's car. And then he fucking goes around and grabs an extra nitrous kit, goes around the guy, and obviously burns the motor up, right? <laughs> Comes to a stop. There's smoke everywhere. The motor's burnt up. And... He's still happy because he almost won. Yeah. That's, he even says that stupid shit. That's oh, Doc. I almost had you. That's fucking Doc. Yes. Doc, this has really happened. Yes. Like, Doc always sprays too much nitrous. He burns the fucking thing up. He sparks everywhere. The, the sparks fucking everywhere. The, the car's all fucked up. He's bringing it back to the starting line. And where everybody's at, he's like, I almost had you. Yeah, and he's still smiling. <laughs> yeah. And he's still happy because about it. Even when Doc even loses, though, he's still happy. Yeah, even though he's got to tear the whole car apart. Uh, Brian, Brian. the piston ring Brian, he tried. <laughs> <laughs> Brian loses his fucking car. Yeah. And he's still fucking happy about it. And he's still, oh, I almost had you. Well, Doc's got to rip his whole motor and shit out. But he's and, got the respect. Yeah. Well, That's all they give a fuck about. He almost had you. They almost had him. Dude, that, to me, as I'm watching this movie, I'm like, this is legit. Yeah. This is the realest thing ever. So then I'm like, all right, but the rest of the movie, I remember, is stupid and fake, right? But then I watch it, and I'm like, they do a drive-by on the fucking homie shop. You know what I mean? Well, yeah. We had a drive-by done on our shit. They we shot did. our shit up. They did. Somebody you know? did. Somebody, it wasn't Johnny Tran. No. But somebody did. <laughs> Somebody like him though. Yeah, he ain't got no spoon engine and shit. Yeah. No, <laughs> but check it out, homie. I need three. Yeah, I need three. I need two of the big ones. Yeah, and then we're out there in the shop. We're talking about maybe going out Saturday night, and you're like, I gotta get the nitrous salt on the trailblazer before we go out. And I'm like, Yeah, you need to go to Harry's, player. You need to go to Harry's. And get I need to go two talk to Brian ones. at Harry's. <laughs> yeah, dude, that whole movie is real. Okay. Well, I'm watching. I mean, basically, it. their life is like ours. They yes. they all got a fake shop that they don't really do anything out of. They just hang out. They just hang out there. Everybody and that's wonders, what we do at our shop. Well, everybody wonders where they get their money. Yep. Because they all got badass cars. Yep. Obviously, they're getting their money the dirty way. Because yes. the shop, they don't, they don't work on any customers' cars. Uh-uh. All just you ever their shit in playing there. Playing around with their shit. Just like the fucking real life. Yeah. Just like us. Hey, so far this week, we've dynoed three cars. <laughs> And two of them, one of them's mine, one of them's yours, and then the other one's Phantom's X O ladies. So, so we didn't make no money off of anything that we've done this week, but we've had a good time, right? Okay, so that's what I'm saying. The movie is fucking dead on. Yes, you know what I mean. It's it's legit. It's so legit. It's legit like Hector. It is. The, Hector's going legit. You know, not me, homie. I'm going legit. I'm trying to get on that narrow circuit. <laughs> He goes, yeah, I heard about that. <laughs> That's like me going in HRA, you know? Yep. What I mean? yeah, not, not Chief. He's going not legit. Chief, he's going legit. <laughs> <laughs> hey, a couple, about a year ago, about a year ago, whenever the NHRA was real, real strong on hating on us, and somebody made that meme that says, don't do it, Jesse. The NHRA is watching. That, Dude. hey, I do died whenever i yeah. saw that i thought that was the funniest what do y'all call it meme yeah oh, that's the funniest well, meme i've ever seen the in my second life funniest one is the one that shows hector <laughs> and then above it it says everybody's getting their nhra, la- NHRA license hector. taken but not hector homie he's, he's going, going legit, legit. <laughs> man uh, it's so dude, funny it is that movie is a fucking biography i'll i'll bet i'll bet the producer of that movie watches our show <laughs> And tells everybody, I fucking told y'all. See? 
<laughs> See, I told y'all, look at the flames. Look at the flames. Because, dude, you know when he was producing that movie, everybody was going, oh, man, I'm not sure about that. And he's going, no, really, this is what happens. <laughs> <laughs> I think that motherfucker's been at a cash days before. Just look, man. I've been out to the street races. Yep. This shit really happened. Yep. Blue flames everywhere. Yep. We need 50 people on the starting line. They closed the fucking they road down. The fucking they road used walkie down. talkies. They used walkie talkies. Dude, this, and when the pizza man shows up, they tell him, fuck, road's closed, pizza boy. Yep, tell him to go the other way. way. You ain't coming through here. Dude. I mean, we have actually taken road closed signs and put them on yes. roads and then raced before. Just like in that fucking movie. Yes. We do it now every weekend. <laughs> <laughs> but not Hector. But not Hector. He's going He's legit. Going. And then, like they're riding around in their dailies. You know, Brian Brian Spillner. He typical white boy name. He's got yeah. a fucking Ford Lightning. You yeah. know what I mean, he's riding yeah. around in. I think that's Harry's. Yeah. Well, hey, that's we, his work truck. It's, just, it's that's a his work truck. That's a shop truck. It's, you know, and it's a Lightning. Yeah. They all roll around in hot shit all day, and yep. they don't do fucking nothing. And everybody wonders how they get their money. And the yep. cops are on to them. One day, some fucking cop is going to infiltrate us. <laughs> we need to go fuck with Doc. It's probably Doc. He's probably yep. a cop. Yep. <laughs> He's going legit. <laughs> oh, God. Man. Okay. And then, so I watched it to the end, right? And then in the end, there's the there's the big race. Yeah. You know what I mean? Toretto's in his dad's car. Yes. Um. They're at the stoplight, and he says, I used to drag here in high school. The train tracks is a quarter, is a quarter of a mile. mile. Okay, I've fucking done that. Mm-hmm. We've raced, to, I mean, in Tulsa. I remember racing in Tulsa to the train tracks. <laughs> and we used to race quarter mile. And then the producer says, all right, but I want a bunch of shit sticking through the hood. Okay, and then I want this fucking thing to do a wheelie. <laughs> and then everybody's like, that don't fucking happen. But I seen it. Yeah, I, know. I just watched it's it that night. Mons has got shit sticking all through the hood. He does a fucking wheelie to the half track, just yep. like fucking yep. Toretto. Yeah, and so did JJ. Yeah, and, and then when Homeboy crashes and rolls it a bunch, it looked just like the footage from when I rolled my car. Uh-huh. And I'm sitting there all fucked up, you know? <laughs> yep. yep. Uh, like, dude, this movie, somehow, this movie eclipsed. A fucking decade. Yeah. And it's now, it's dead on. I watched that movie back then. I thought, God damn, this is the dumbest shit I've ever seen. Yep. And now, it's the realest fucking thing I've ever seen in my whole life. Yep. And I used to bitch about it being like, man, God damn, race is still going on. Yeah. It does shit gears again. <laughs> but hey, you go out to the fucking, watch the imports race over there. I'll fucking go out to fucking yep. Metro Tech and watch them guys race. It takes yep. 30 seconds to do the fucking, get up to speed. That's fucking real. Yep. Just like Long Bed Lusa when we're in Compton. This, yeah, this shit, shit is, is real, real. man. <laughs> Run, Chief. <laughs> this shit is real. Man. Dude, it yeah. was, I mean. There's so much show. There's so much shit in that fucking movie, man. And the cops all know who Toretto is, you know. Well, yeah. he Because he, he, he fucking, he bolts out. He fucking parks tries to lose the fucking somewhere. cops. Parks that motherfucker. Gets out, puts the And then they, on. they see him. Yeah. You and know. Then, and then Paul comes and picks him up. Yeah. And that's how he earned his respect. And then they go back to the house where they ain't doing shit but partying and getting fucked up. Yep. And everybody's like, oh, hey, you made it. Okay, I've been there before. Yep. You know what I mean? I remember when Sean got pulled over and we kept racing. We went somewhere else and kept racing. And Sean yep. shows up. We're like, hey. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah. Hey, you made yeah. it. Good. Yeah. Good. The buster kept me out of jail. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Dude. So... Two things that I learned after watching that movie. I've probably watched it 20 times now because it's, it's just I can't get over the how real it is. Uh-huh. The blue flames and shit everywhere. The yeah. fucking shit flying out. You know, they talk about blowing the welds on the intake, you know, with too much NOS. Dave blew the welds on his intake with too much NOS. Yeah. He did. I seen it. Yep. This shit can happen. <laughs> this shit is real, man. This shit is fucking real. Now, the other thing that fuck that fucks with me though is that like i got a list like me and kamikaze have always had like a top five movie list you know and it's like heat and fucking point break you yeah know yeah, I mean? yeah okay well the thing that's really fucking me up though is this is fast and the furious is point break a hundred percent the exact <laughs> same movie yeah yeah a hundred percent it's just surfers versus street racers yeah instead yeah. of street racers yeah. there's surfers I'm, yeah. it's fucked up but so in the Fast and Furious, the undercover cop, Brian Spillner, he must get into the Los Angeles exotic street racing subculture, right, to uh-huh. crack a ring of daring hijackers. But in Point Blank, 
Johnny Utah. Johnny Utah. <laughs> Get me to into a Los Angeles exotic surfing subculture to crack a ring of daring bank robbers. Yep. Right? Same. Uh, the Fast and the Furious, it has long racing sequences, lovingly shot, fucking badass shit everywhere, you know. And Point Break has long surfing sequences, you know. They're all trying. And there's Bodie and Toretto, you know what yeah. I mean? Same guy. Yeah. I'm literally same guy. He runs the shit. <laughs> uh, Brian can't fucking pick up race car. He's not, He's got a heavy foot, you know what I mean? Yeah. Like, like Harry said, I've seen you drive. you got a heavy foot. Yeah, yeah. You know I mean? So he has trouble picking up the street racing thing. Just like Utah. Utah has, has he had to learn how to surf. surf. Yeah. You know, he didn't know how. With that bum knee. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that bum football knee, you know. Uh so and then in Fast and Furious, Spilner falls for the sister of the big boss, right? Yeah. Point break, Utah falls for the ex the lover of the big boss. Yeah. Right? And, and and Toretto, he doesn't really like it. And Bodie, he don't really like it. Yeah, yeah. You know? And then so initially though, she she ain't having it, just like in both movies. <laughs> yep, yep. And then uh they fight a lot. And then they both find out that they're both fucking cops. And then the chicks get mad. They kind of have it out, you know? Yeah. Yeah. Well, yeah, because you didn't love me. You're a cop. No, you were infiltrating this place. Yeah, the only thing that Fast and Furious doesn't have is the greatest line in any movie ever made. Utah get me too? Well, that one, and you think I've... <laughs> you think I like this hair, man? <laughs> you think I like wearing these clothes? <laughs> <laughs> and, Point Break is one of my favorite movies check ever. It, even more, like you, I, I wrote all these down on my phone. Okay, it's even worse than you think. So in the Fast and Furious, it had the hottest culture of that culture's musician, Ja Rule, uh -huh. as one of the racers. Well, and it also had uh, what was the flagger? Well, that's two. I'm talking about the first one. No, he was in the first one too. No, he wasn't. Ludacris he, wasn't in the first. Ludacris one. was the one telling everybody to back up in the first race. That was the second one. That's the second, one. That's the second movie. The first race. Oh, Hector it was. <laughs> Hector played first one. Oh, yeah. Then he went legit. Yeah. <laughs> then they had to bring Ludacris in. That's right. That's right. That's He's right. That okay. <laughs> so, but in the Fast and the Furious, they had Ja Rule, who's the big hit musician of that culture at yeah. the time. Yeah. In Point Break, they had Anthony Kiedis from yep. Red Hot Chili Peppers. Yep. He's a surfer. Ja Rule was a racer. Same. Uh, his last... Ja Rule's last scene in the movie is is a funny one as he loses the race and is dissed by his girl. But Monica. Right? <laughs> and Monica. <laughs> and then uh, the last scene of Kiedis is funny and he accidentally shoots himself in the foot. And he goes, ah! He's yeah. like, Monica. Yeah. He yeah. says, ah! Right? <laughs> and then, uh, Fast and Furious, so Dom's gang and Dom himself think that Brian's too preppy and square. Bodie's gang and Bodie himself think that Utah's too preppy and square. They should have knew they were cops. These yep. dudes are definitely cops. Yep. Um, Dom's popular with the ladies. Makes his girlfriend uh, jealous. Uh, Bodie, very popular with the ladies. Yep. Makes his ex-girlfriend jealous. Um, Brian and Dom share their first bonding moment when Brian rescues Dom from the cops. Bodie and Utah share their first bonding moment when Bodie rescues Utah from the band of rival surfers. Yep. Dude, the movie's the same. Uh, which means that Point Brank is a biography of our lives. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> if you smoke enough weed, yep. that's where you end up. Yep. <laughs> uh, Brian and Dominic eventually bond over shrimp and fries at a restaurant on the beach. Utah and Tyler eventually bond when he orders shrimp and fries at a restaurant on the beach. Yep. Damn. And you know what? What's even fucking weirder than that is even once... Even once Bodie finds out that Utah's a cop, he's fine with it. Just and like just like Toretta. fucking once Toretta finds out that fucking he's yep. a cop, there's because there's other things that they're worried about. At yeah, the time. people are shooting at Johnny Tran. Yeah, there's Johnny Tran yeah, out there. There's running other people. There, there are other things, and they eventually both like the bad guy. Yeah, see, and they let him go. Remember? Yep. Yeah, they both let each yeah, other go. Well, Dominic got let go, and so did Bodie. Remember at the end of the yep. point break, Bray said he's not coming yep. back. Yep. And he turned around and Boom. walked off. Uh, Brian's investigation is assisted by his by his partner, his grizzled veteran partner. Point break, Utah's investigation is assisted by Gary Busey, his grizzled veteran partner. <laughs> Utah, <laughs> give me two. Yeah, Utah, give uh, me two. Brian's under pressure from the FBI agent and his commanding officer. Utah's under pressure from his FBI agent and his commanding officer. Yep. Um, 
Brian participates in a raid on Sinister Racer Johnny Tran's house. He was, he, and dude, yep, right? Yeah. Right? Yep. Utah participates in a raid on Surfer Bunker and his gang. Yep. Dude, it's fucking exactly the same. And they were the wrong guys. Johnny Tran wasn't the one doing it, and neither was Bunker. Uh, well, it's because both of them didn't want to believe that their buddies were the ones doing it. Yeah, Tanner fears um, Brian's proximity to Mia and the charismatic Dom is clouding his vision to the truth. And point blank, Papa's fears that Utah's proximity to Tyler and the charismatic Bodie is clouding his vision. Yep. <laughs> um, Dom's obsessed with the car that his late father built, yet he also fears it. It ironically figures into what appears to be his ultimate fate. Bodie's obsessed with surfing the 50-year storm, the biggest wave break in the world, yet he also fears it, and he ironically figures out into what appears to be his ultimate fate. <laughs> yep. Um, yeah, those movies are the same. Yes. Brian risks everything when he finds himself involved in the gang's final botched hijacking as two of the gang are wounded by res- reckless, actless, re- reckless actions of a driver trying to be a vigilante. It was meant to be their last job. Utah risks everything when he finds himself involved in the ex-president's final botched robbery as two of the gang members are killed by reckless actions of an off-duty cop trying to be a vigilante. It was meant to be their last job. <laughs> it's ridiculous. Uh, Bodie says, I live my life a quarter mile at a time. Or, uh, <laughs> no, no, no. Dom, yeah, yeah, Dom. Toretto. Uh, Bodie says, <laughs> it's that place where you lose yourself and find yourself. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh and in that 10 Brian seconds or less. Brian eventually acts against his instincts as a law officer, and he lets Dominic go. The film ends with Dominic driving away with his fate left ambiguous, and Brian walks away in slow motion as the end credit music shows up. Utah eventually acts against his instincts as a law officer and lets Bodie go. The film ends with Bodie surfing into a massive wave with his fate left ambiguous, and Utah walks away as the end credit music swells. The same. Yep. Which means we are point break. Yes. Fuck yeah. Yeah. That's cool. But Bunker had some sweet tribal tattoos. He did. He did. <laughs> There's no sweet tattoos in Fast and Furious. <laughs> There's not, is there? Didn't Toretto have some? He didn't have none? Huh. No, he was a hard ass with no tattoos. <laughs> oh, the one guy. The one guy had some tattoos, right? The guy who uh, who called him a buster, Vince. Yeah, yeah. He had some when tattoos. When he said, is this your beer? Yeah, is this your beer? And he just wipes yeah, it off. And he says, here's Vince's beer. Enjoy it. <laughs> 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 yeah. Oh man. Tell yeah, me. I know. So that's, that's what happens crazy. when you sit at home and uh your vision may be clouded. <laughs> Everything may be cloudy, really. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> the whole house is cloudy. Yeah, but obviously not. It was uh you know, it's dead on. Dude, nailed it. Fast and the Furious, watch it for yourself. If you've ever been to any of our races or you watch our show, watch it for yourself. It's the same. Fast and Furious. The original Fast and Furious is Street I've, I've always liked it, though. I, anytime that I see Fast and the Furious on, I'll watch it. Yeah, but I just watched it going, man, they grabbed another gear. They grabbed another button on the steering wheel. Dude, we're all doing that Yeah, but shit. it looks like our races, though. And they take yeah. 30 seconds. And they take just like Street Outlaws. Yep. And there's 15 different clips, and they're using F1 sounds and shit. I mean, yep. it's just like, I, I'm going to ask our producer, like, hey, did you do Fast and Furious? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you the same guy. And Point Break. Yeah, and Point Break. <laughs> Oh, oh man, yeah, it's that's uh, it's good. It's They're perfect. both good movies. It's perfect, right? and I like them both. It's fucking perfect. I can't get over it. It's fucking perfect. Who's Johnny Tran though? Not Asian. No. Why? Why would you? Why would you? Asian. Why would you put those two together? <laughs> Cause that sounds kind of racist. <laughs> uh, they got the same eyes. <laughs> I don't know. When I look into their eyes, they look the same. That's fucked up. Um, I don't know. I don't know. It goes probably. <laughs> Dude, it's just, I don't know. I would suggest everybody go out and watch Fast and the Furious and, and just look at it from my point of Well, you'd have to be at my point of view. Yeah. It'd be hard to get there. Exactly. <laughs> you'd have to come over. <laughs> I think this this year, this summer, we should do a Fast and the Furious at the drive-in. Yeah. And everybody bring their fucking hot rod and stand beside it. Yeah. And, and we'll do the same. <laughs> yep. We'll have Fast and the Furious in real life. And we'll go over to Climate Masters and get the two-way radios going and yeah. shut the road down. Yeah. 
<laughs> make some licks. I was fixing to say because if we we all take our rides, the only person that'd be able to hear anything is Monza because his his car's got a radio in it. That's what is what I heard, said. dude. So, the facts the, the other night on the, the show, full throttle episode, the full throttle the episode were on, so fucked they off. They do last week's episode before they do this week's, yes. and they do a full throttle. They put the little facts down at the bottom of the screen. Some of the facts. Dude, the whole Fireball Camaro the deal, Fireball too. Camaro's Ryan Martin's is. Camaro has been threes. Yes. In threes. the eighth. At 200. At 200 mile an yeah. hour. And then they said in the quarter it runs 980s, <laughs> which is, is considered the fastest Camaro in the country. You can go threes and let off, and you still go 670s. Yes, because <laughs> yes, you have done, I've it. done it. Because I've done it. That's yeah. funny. And then they said and they then, can run on 91 or 93 octane. Yeah, exactly. The two 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 points. Of, <laughs> Those two of points of octane don't fuck with him. They don't. Uh-uh. He, he could got, put them both in there. He could probably put 87 in it. <laughs> I don't know. That would be a whole different tune. Yeah. And then, then he, they said that Monza's car had full interior, power windows, yeah, and a radio. And a radio. Yeah. Okay, I've seen inside Monza's car before. Yeah, well, and it ain't no different than my car, no. except it's a, of course it's nicer. Yeah, and more cigarette butts. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and camouflage and fishing poles and yeah. shit everywhere. Yes, yeah, it's got more mossy oak. <laughs> <laughs> and Skittles. And yeah, shit. yeah, and Skittles and beef jerky in there. And a brush. <laughs> <laughs> and a brush because he has hair. <laughs> Looking like Sam Elliott. He does the Dude, Sam Elliott. Whenever he fucking pulled his helmet off the other night and he flips his hair back, I, it took me back to that night whenever yes. it happened. I was, oh, my God. <laughs> he looks like Sam Elliott out there. I said, Monza, you're so fucking sexy. I was fixing to ask you if they got a good root beer around here anyway. Man. He looked just like Sam Elliott. From yeah. Fucking, yes, Asparilla. <laughs> Dude. And I, I, they said... All right. They made me say why I was taking everybody, and it was fucked up because yeah, we you took said, Chuck. Plus, he's got good hair. Because we took Chuck, and he was he was we took him because he was number one on the on the yeah. On the hit. <laughs> in our hearts. In our hearts. He's number one in our hearts, people. <laughs> I will I say, Chuck, nobody's listening. Fucking anyway. fast, though. Man. Nobody's listening anyway. <laughs> yeah. Um. <laughs> yeah, and then yeah. I said, I said, I'm bringing Monza because he's fast and he's got gray hair, and okay. then it shows his fucking hair, and it's like. He does have great hair. I can't believe he cut it. Monza, don't cut your hair. Why would you cut your hair if you had hair like that? I don't have hair. I wouldn't even wear a helmet. That's fucked up. No. Ever. No helmet. I'd be like, I can't wear a helmet. I know. Look what it do to my Some hair. Some people don't have hair, and it's like he's just spitting in our face, you know, <laughs> yeah. showing us that beautiful like, hair that like he's got. Like we don't have a hand, and he's waving at us. Yeah. You know? Yeah. <laughs> like we ain't got a hand, and he's sitting Like we waving. ain't got no thumb, and he's giving he us the thumbs, thumbs up. <laughs> That's fucked up. Who's got two thumbs and loves street racing? <laughs> this guy. This guy. <laughs> Yeah. Uh. <laughs> well, uh, I am really excited on, though okay. to get the new car going. It's like it's like I already have it because I haven't really worried too much about the old car. Yeah. I don't like doing that yeah. because I'm pretty sure that depending on when the show comes back, I'm probably going to have to race the old car a little bit. But I don't know. Everybody else, yeah, and Monkey really wants me to go test it. <laughs> Uh, it's cold. Well, Monkey did a lot of work on that car know, did, while we were going. Cold. It is cold. But, the hell, I don't know. I don't, I don't even know what I was saying. <laughs> I forgot what I had been saying. Well, so, I don't know what I'm going to do. Yeah, what are you, I mean, what are what are your plans? You don't have a street raced car. No, I'm not. I'm never going to street race that car again. I, said, I heard myself say it on the show. Yep. So, so what are you going to do? I don't know. <laughs> Maybe surf? Take yeah. Up surfing? I thought I've, I've heard it's pretty cool. I heard it's a lot like street racing. <laughs> it, could get, it could get just as intense. It starts on bonfires. <laughs> on the uh, night that it's cold, like now. <laughs> I need a bonfire right here. I know. I'm going to set this desk on fire in a minute. Yep. What's fucked up is in this little town that we live, our shop is in, this place is on fire. They wouldn't even call it fire. No. Fire. No, we could, we could light that whole thing of fire out back. Nobody would even come. Oh, damn. We should do it. It's cold. Let's get Wanda out of there first. That's really all I give a fuck about. We still got to go spray it. So, oh yeah, we bring Wanda in to the dyno this morning. Well, Actually, I get here late. Let's say it's already this, strapped the fuck down. Well, this week, Sean finally... So, Sean decides last week, Sean decides he's going to put a cam in his trailblazer. Because it fucking... You can't even hear it running. Like, I've got out of it before and left it running for hours because I had no idea it was running. I mean, you can't, you couldn't hear it at all. And you're old. 
I am pretty old. <laughs> That's some shit old people do. Yeah, yeah. Uh, he, so he puts a cam in it, and he's, it's got a single bolt cam. He puts. We're gonna get real technical here, LS oh, style. Fuck. He puts a single bolt cam or a three bolt cam in it, but he puts the wrong cam gear, so the fucking thing won't run. Won't. You would think that would come with the kit, right? <laughs> But it didn't. Because you bought a kit. Yeah, I did. I bought a kit. The LS motor. They come in kit. It should have came kit. with everything that I needed. Wrong push rods and all. <laughs> Here's your 650 springs. Here's your 650 springs <laughs> and your with seven your, four your push seven rods. 400 push rods. <laughs> and they were fucking way too short. So, well, they. I'm trying to tune the fucking thing. And it won't idle. It won't run. It's popping and banging. It's getting real hot. It's getting real hot. Yeah. It's like 270 and shit. So <laughs> at, one time it, okay. at one point, at one point, remember we didn't notice that it was that hot and it just died. <laughs> <laughs> and I looked in and I go, "Oh, it's hot!" And you go, "Holy shit!" <laughs> it, it went ahead and killed itself. It was like it's a safety feature. <laughs> it said these guys are idiots and they're not looking at the temperature. Oh, uh, well. So then. We put the right cam gear on it. It still wouldn't run. It had a vacuum, fucking vacuum leak. We find a fucking vacuum leak. We finally get this thing to run. We dyno it. It makes 400 to the tires. Everything's fucking perfect. He goes out and drives it. And he's like, it's slow as fuck. <laughs> <laughs> What's bad is I promise you, we should have dynoed it before, but I promise you it picked up over 100. Oh, yeah. No, because it made 260 to the, the tire. The, the timing that was in that thing before, obviously the owner before me had sprayed that thing with some nitrous. <laughs> Okay, it didn't have headers on it. I mean, it was bone stock. Everything was stock. The only, the only, the only thing that's not that stock on that kit. thing is it has got, it's got a hot air kit on it, which it's is far air. from a cold air intake. They put a filter on hey, it. Hey, and it also has a uh, LS7 mass air on it <laughs> for some Fucking, some yeah, fucking they, reason. They, they cut the top of the intake off and ported this plastic. I'm not intake. real sure if they cut it off or, they or if they had off. nitrous backfired that thing off. The plastic there. welds on the intake. <laughs> the fucking Fast and Furious back again. Yeah, so so we're looking in the tune and Chief goes, holy shit, I don't know how this thing even runs with this amount of timing in it because there's no timing in it. Right. So obviously they had timing out for nitrous. Or for the vacuum leak. <laughs> yeah, it could have been so, for the vacuum leak. He goes out and drives. He's like, man, this thing's slow as fuck. So then we're, we're like, man, we haven't dynoed something in a long time. Because there's been a car on the dyno bay for like six There has. Months. It's, it's, some, it's some black car. <laughs> and so we weren't able to dyno anything. So we finally have a day to dyno something. So we dyno your trailblazer. It makes 400. He's like, ah, it's fucking slow. So then I'm like. <laughs> 400 but, just don't but, seem fast no. to me. But me and Sean were, were having a good time. It was just me and him up Because we haven't dynoed in a long time. We haven't time. dynoed anything in a long time. We were laughing our fucking asses off. So then we're like, man, we should dyno some more shit. It's always funnier when we have a customer car because then we can talk <laughs> shit about the customer car. We can because they're not here because we don't let them back Well, and, and you didn't have anybody to bounce off of because it was just me there. No, so you couldn't talk that much shit about my trailblazer. <laughs> Because you're just shitting on me about it. Yeah. So it's always funner when there's somebody else and you and somebody else can poke about whoever's car's on the diner. Right. So, so then, then we brought in Kristen's car. We bring in Squishy's, Squishy's car. Squishy's car. And, we, and then there's a lot to fucking poke at on that well, Yeah, car. because Phantom's worked on it. Yes. And, 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 and other people. And, the, and other people. And somebody ran over a trash compactor, a fucking <laughs> dumpster, and drug so the, the whole exhaust is just covered. It looked like somebody had Plasti dipped it <laughs> with, <laughs> with Walmart trash bags is what it looked like. This thing smelled so bad. <laughs> it smelled like somebody lit an LS1 on fire. <laughs> and a couple of times I had thought that that's what had happened. <laughs> uh, and then somebody made their own drive shaft. <laughs> <laughs> so oh. it was rattling. God damn, it was funny. Yeah. We had a good time. Yeah. Uh, it ended up making like 366 or some shit to the tire. which But was, it's out of fuel, right? I mean, it's going to make like more. 5,500 RPM because yeah. it's an LS motor. And so I was like, so today I'm like, you know, I had so much fun on Dino in the last couple of days. Let's Dino Wanda. We have never finished the Wanda thing. We put a yeah. Pro Charger on it, put a cam in it. Put a uh, the dual phantom fuel system in it, and we never done it. We never re re it. I've just been driving around tuning it. I've driven a lot. This, well, I've driven this truck to Indianapolis, Louisville. You don't have to tell everywhere you Memphis been. and Chicago dates. and Dayton, St. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> uh, Louis multiple times, Houston, fucking yeah. Dallas, Dallas like a couple times in one weekend. Yeah, <laughs> and everywhere I go, it's triple digits. Yeah, you know we yeah. we we average one hundred and thirty. Well, we went to that street race. 
just here a while in back. Tulsa. Remember in Tulsa, and I was doing a hundred the whole way, and it seemed like, and I left a good two That's hours when before you. Birdman and JJ Ray. Okay, yes. Yeah, you. Left I two left hours. about two hours before you, and you showed up there about thirty <laughs> minutes after me. <laughs> hey, and I promise you, man. Hey, mine was never under a hundred the yeah, whole the whole. I trip. was one forty, one fifty, probably the whole way. That's what I usually do. I usually try and stay about one forty five, one fifty the whole. The way. The turnpike's perfect though, because oh, even yeah. if you do pass a cop, there's a divider there, and you ain't getting you ain't getting through it. No, so, especially not if I'm doing 140. Yeah, no, you know, by the time you do find a turnaround, you ain't yeah. catching you. Well, so I this truck's been everywhere, and I've been tuning it for like a year now. I guess I don't know. Yes, We've, and it's a stock five three with a camshaft and an F one Pro yeah. Charger, and it's on E85. So I'm like, let's dyno on it. Well, let's finish this because fans been bugging me forever. We gonna finish that? We're gonna finish that? <laughs> And so, because we did a whole segment one, and then we never finished it. Yeah, just like God, this is like the podcast. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yes, no, we're gonna finish it, man. We're back. Yeah, we're back. <laughs> well, so I pulled Wanda in this morning, strap it down, fucking first fucking pull. The bitch made what six forty, six forty, just first hit. Yeah, first lick six forty, and it was still making power. I shut it off. It was still, it was. Still yeah, no, climbing. the curve was going straight up. Yeah. So I was like, God damn, and I didn't even spray it. It's got yeah. nitrous on it too. It's got a whole NX kit on it, like hidden in the fucking oh, bed. Fucking course it does. Because <laughs> Dominic <laughs> runs nitrous. <laughs> <laughs> Just like once you fucking broke my heart this morning and you pulled that bitch in here that you've driven literally all over the fucking country and it makes 250 more than my six liter does. Yeah. Fucking, I mean, yeah, mine's an a, LS2. It's a 5.3. So yours is a 5.3. And you pull it in there and it but does. It's got it. a hidden nitrous system. That is, but you didn't just like spray. Dominic, it. But you just didn't like RX7, it. man. <laughs> But you didn't no, spray but it. No, but I didn't spray it yet. When okay. we get done here, we're going to go out there and spray so, it. So 250 more than mine. Yes. So I believe that uh, a Pro Charger is in my future. <laughs> Something, because as soon as that number popped up, Sean looked at Phantom and was like, get some shit coming for the drill laser. <laughs> as soon as I'm, I'm like, talking, hey, you, it was the dyno like, didn't even shut down yet. <laughs> it pops up 640, and I go, all right, Phantom, go ahead and yeah. call Pro Charger. Basically, he walked into Harry's, and he said, give me these. I need yes, two of them, yes. the big ones. And, and the big nitrous kit. <laughs> So NX has already actually <laughs> sent me my nitrous kit for yeah, it. So it. you did rob some parts off of, of it, it, but that's okay. They're already on their way. Yeah. So yes, but, dude, my daily driven truck, daily driven everywhere, everywhere. I've been all over the fucking country in this thing multiple times. I drew, I was at PRI with it driving around downtown. Yeah. Indy last snowing week. and yeah, shit. snowing. It was literally snowing. Yeah. Um, that thing on nitrous is going to make close to 800 to the tires. Yeah, it's got a stock tranny and shit in it. It's got a stock 4060. If you ever hook. Well, it was, it's got a Pro Tour converter. That's about it. I, yeah. I didn't even lock it up, though. Yeah, but you have a 4L80 for yeah. it. Yeah. Sitting it, back there. I do. With a trans <laughs> brake and shit. Does mine have a trans brake? <laughs> so I have a 4L80 for mine, too. <laughs> you don't need it with 4 on it. No, I don't want to put sticky tires on. I, like, I, I will I got, never put sticky tires on. I like on my twenty two. I will put I will leave my twenty twos on. Whatever it runs, it runs. Yeah. I I just it ain't it ain't that type of vehicle to me. You know, like like last night I was on my way home and I'm driving down Mustang Road and I'm minding my own business. I'm listening to fucking old school rap. I got, you know, blaring as loud as I can. And I don't even know it, but I look over and there's like a eighty four white short wide Chevy on some weld RTSs. It's lowered. Looks fucking clean as fuck. It was one well, of my because they're fucking cool trucks. It's anyways. one of my favorite bikes. I've yes. had like fucking twelve of those trucks. Yes. But, and I'm like, damn, that truck is clean as hell. And we start playing around a little bit and I end up getting it with him from a roll. And dude at like 60, 70 miles an hour, fucking Wanda's completely sideways. I almost fucking lose it right down Mustang Road. And I'm like, Jesus, man, this thing's a fucking animal. And sure enough, now we know why. Because it makes 640 to the fucking tires. Yeah, because you're driving around at 640 at the tires all the time. And it's cold as fuck <laughs> outside. Is. So And the roads are fucking cold. And so. your air inlet temps with a blower are fucking 40 degrees <laughs> cooler than <laughs> mine. They put, I don't know how they did this, but somehow they made... The air inlet on Sean's Trailblazer hotter than ambient temperature. Yeah, like, it was like sixty degrees in the shop the other day with yeah. the with the and doors open like and stuff. Degree and my <laughs> inlet temps were one hundred and ten. <laughs> How the fuck does that happen? It's supposed to be a cold air kit. Yes, not, not a, a not, kit. Not, not a hot air off the radiator and <laughs> header kit. <laughs> Uh, so I don't need to worry about that anymore. Well, then I make a Not pull a pro charger. at 640 horsepower with a goddamn Pro Charger. My intake air temps were 88 degrees. I know. Of course, I do have an F1, though. 
Yes. And I'm only making like 10 pounds. That's of what I'm going to have too, though. With a big, I got a five inch pulley on it. Yes. I could put a smaller pulley on it and make 30 pounds of boost. But the, stock the inlet three. temps would pull the all the timing temps. down. <laughs> it's the perfect combo. Yes. Literally, dude. I'm having so much fun with it. But I've got a 410 inch motor back there with like square but, port heads. And but everything. what do you need it for? I guess to make 1200. I don't know. <laughs> On the same, that's so that you could put that smaller pulley on, on the it. same twenty twos. That's uh, it's worthless now. Why would I yes. want another thousand? You know, another five hundred horsepower. But I still want to spray it and see if it'll make over seven hundred. I know it'll make over seven hundred. But I think God. it will. I think it'll make if over it seven makes, easy. I think it'll make over seven fifty pretty easy. If it makes seven fifty, I got a legit seven fifty daily driven horsepower truck. That's fucking cool, man. Yes, I think it's eighteen miles of the gallon. And shit. I would be cool with the six fifty that you made on fucking. No, I'm cool with that. I, I call it motor. I'm cool with that, but I got that's nitrous. on motor because it's there all the time. But you can't take it off. No, you don't. You know, it's on. That's there. motor. It's motor. Okay. Yeah. It's no, some, that was on motor. It was something like motor. I didn't say it was naturally aspirated. That's motor. <laughs> it's got nitrous. <laughs> yeah, we didn't use it. <laughs> yeah. So I don't know, I'm excited about that, but but I got this. I got. So I want to finish Wanda, mm-hmm. right? I want to put a rear end in it because it's got an eight and a half ten bolt stock rear end. It's got a stock four L sixty. I want to put the tranny, put the rear end in it. You know, I want to put good. It needs brakes bad. Yes. I got the deals to put the you know big. CTSV or Corvette brakes or whatever on it. So that'll be cool. It'll be a really cool truck. I'm going to finish it. So I got this daily, this CTSV. Uh-oh. <laughs> <laughs> and that's what really started all this. Is Yeah, because I felt like shit after I got out of it. Dude. Hey, you notice like the day later yes. I put the cam in the fucking trailblazer. <laughs> I get this CTSV and it's bone stock. And I, I'm out driving it, and I get on it, and I'm like, what the fuck? They sell this to fucking old people? Yeah. What the fuck is their problem? This thing runs like Eleven's factory. Like, dude, it's retarded fast for a stock car. Yes. I was like, Sean, we got to go for a ride. So I took Sean for a ride, and he's like, what the fuck? He's like, this thing is retarded. It's I'm- out of control, dude. Nobody, just because you have money, should be able to go out. <laughs> And say, no, no, no. I mean, people look at that car and they go, oh, this is luxury. Yeah. Okay, it's luxury, but you're going to fucking hurt yourself <laughs> if you've never been in a car. You turn that traction control off and you're spinning that motherfucker all over the place. Guaranteed. I just can't imagine people giving this to their wives and people they love yeah. and saying, here, drive this every day. And then they try and get in passing gear and go around somebody and hit the fucking wall. Yeah. You know I mean? Yeah. <laughs> They're going to collect the bonus wall real quick. As long as they got the traction control on, I feel like they'd be all right because it'll shut that bitch down. But. <laughs> Not like the trouble. Not that like the trouble. trouble. It, it kills the motor damn near. You almost have to pull over and fucking put it in park and start it again when the traction control hits on it. <laughs> <laughs> the traction control of the Cadillac's pretty nice. It actually works. You can no, no, no. It, it, it slows it the down. The trailblazer is a cut off. Yeah. It's a traction cut is what it is. But I tried I just, to get on on the dyno. I thought I broke the rear end. I was like, well, it didn't go. Whoa. You didn't break that 14 bolt. <laughs> no. <laughs> I've broke one before. You have. I remember. <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> same same fucking thing, man. <laughs> Anyways, yeah, it just blows my fucking mind that I did so much work to that little white truck, and it's got a four hundred eight in it, and yeah, square port heads, square port heads. I did all that work, and do that fucking Cadillac will rail that truck. That's crazy. And in my mind, I figured if we sprayed that fucking truck with a hundred shot, I still think it'll run a ten, and. I don't know, man. <laughs> From that a roll, fucking it wouldn't, Cadillac, it wouldn't have a chance. I don't think so either. That's crazy. It just dude. blew my mind. I couldn't I fucking believe because I've never been in a Cadillac before. No, <laughs> I mean, I've been in a Caddy yeah, before, on now. but I ain't never been in no CTSV before. Yeah, me neither. I didn't know it was like that either. My homeboy, uh, Shane, up in St. Louis, he's got a wagon with like fucking B locks and races and shit. I remember I was talking to him one night. I was up there, streetcar takeover, some shit. I was cruising around in Wanda trying to get races like an idiot. And. I asked him, I was like, what are you going to the track for? And he's like, I'm, in, I'm racing in that class. I'm like, what class? Like, 6 class. I was like, what the fuck? What do you mean 6 class? <laughs> like in the 8th? And he's like, yeah. I was like, God damn, that's like 940s. He's like, yeah. I was like, You're, what are you racing? And he's like, my wagon. I was like, what? What? Your wagon runs 6-0s in the fucking 8th? And he's like, yeah, it runs fucking 9s. I was like, how the fuck does your fucking wagon run fucking 9s in the quarter mile? Can you imagine how pissed you'd be if you were some normal kid and you worked on your S10 with a 350 or whatever the fuck it is, put a Vortec motor in your short wide, put nitrous and shit on it, did all this shit, weld the spider gears up, and go out there and get your ass kicked by some fucking kid in a bad. wagon. Bad, though. Bad? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> fucking bad. Yeah. 
and he can put all your ex girlfriends in it. Because uh-huh. <laughs> <laughs> they, because if they came with you, they ain't leaving with you, <laughs> dude. That's just rude. I know. I know. Fucking and the the Z O sixes, Z L ones, and all that shit nowadays. The motherfuckers are insane. Yeah, dude. and they're heavy. It's insane. They're I don't get it. Fucking. I mean, they really are. I mean, I've heard people call them fucking the old man's Corvette. They, that's what they are. Dude, it's got Brembo brakes all the way around. No, that motherfucker will stop. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. We did a brake expedition exhibition right in front of the shop. Yeah. We were racing to the railroad tracks just like Don. Yeah, how far How far is that railroad tracks from that stop? <laughs> it's got to be a quarter of a mile. I used to drag there back in high school. Yeah. <laughs> Well, I guarantee we was doing about 130, 140, and then we stopped before the fucking railroad tracks. <laughs> it was awesome. <sighs> Damn. But it makes me it makes me sad because that thing is it busts Wanda. All right. You know what I mean? Because Wanda's gonna blow the tires off and it's gonna be gone. Yep. Some little old lady on her fucking phone trying to figure out how to text message while she's driving, and she's gonna bust my ass. Yep. In a truck that makes seven fifty to the tire. Fuck. I know. It's rude. Yeah. That's- <laughs> It's tough to swallow, man. I've heard. <laughs> you know it is. I've heard. Uh-huh. <laughs> anyway. uh, All right. Yeah. Well, that's enough for today. Yeah, we'll we got to go out here and finish fucking dying on this. Yeah, we're going gonna to go back to work in our shop. Yeah, <laughs> yeah we are. <laughs> when Kristen's car was fucked up, I was like, she should take it to a shop. <laughs> right, what should we do to fix this, man? I don't know. She's going to have to take it to a shop. She's taking it to the shop. <laughs> Like a stuff then, that actually works on cars, yeah. not like Dominic's. And then she could bring it back and fucking wood dino yeah, it again. we're going to go back out here and play with our fucking trucks and shit, just like they do in fucking Fast yep. and Furious. Yep. I'm going to get on the horn with Pro Charger. And Harry's. Yeah, and Harry's. Tell them to give me two of the big ones. <laughs> All right. See you next Tuesday. Yeah, we'll see you all next Tuesday. It's, it's been fun. We should fucking do this every week. <laughs> we should make this a weekly deal. 